Hi guys, my crew here. This is my video on killing frost dragons for some nice money. Frost dragons can be a consistent money maker of over 5 mil GP an hour. They have such little HP and they're so fast to kill, it's really, really easy to get a ton of bones in an hour. So let's get into this video. Starting off with the requirements, as always, you're going to want to have decent combat stats. I'd recommend 90 plus in ranged or melee, depending on what style you're killing it with. You want 92 plus prayer so you can have soul split, but if you get 95 prayer, turmoil or anguish is very, very helpful too. The only other thing that you require is 85 dungeoneering to get access to these dragons. There's a couple of items that I definitely would recommend getting to make this method even better. The first thing is invention and perking up your gear because some of the perks on your gear, all of the DPS increase it gives is really, really beneficial of how many you can kill an hour. Even simple things like crackling, when they proc, they deal 3k damage and they only have 8,500 HP anyway, so it's going to be really, really nice. 96 Herb Lord definitely helps as well for overloads. 96 plus summoning for a pack yak for winter storage scrolls. This is going to save you some money, but it's not 100% needed because you can easily do this with like a war tortoise or something with some prayer pots in it for an hour. The yak does send stuff to the bank with the scrolls though, which saves a bit of money in the long run because I sent about 200 bones to the bank. Instead of spending 1.7k on notepaper, I was only spending about 350 GP on a scroll for those 200 bones. It works out to be much cheaper this way. The last and definitely not the least thing is the Bone Crusher upgrade from the Ark makes this method insanely good. I'm just going to speak about what this Bone Crusher upgrade actually does. This Bone Crusher upgrade can be bought at the Ark. It costs 25,000 chimes and 25 Taiju too, so it's kind of expensive, but it's definitely worth it. This upgrade allows you to upgrade your Bone Crusher to unlock the Bone Collecting Auto Pickup feature. So if you're not instantly crushing a bone with your bone crusher, it will pick it up and put it in your inventory instead of crushing it. That's what the auto pickup feature does. At Frost Dragons, this allows you to run around and not worry about looting anything at all from the Frost Dragons. Although sometimes when you do have a full inventory, it will drop the bones underneath of you. So sometimes when you're killing them super fast so you forget to note paper them or send them to the bank, you may have one or two underneath of you, but then you can click it, area loot, whatever you need to, and then carry on. This definitely increases uptime and allows for so many more kills per hour because you don't have to loot at all. Their normal drops aren't that great compared to the bones themselves, so you're pretty much only killing them for the bones and you can ignore the other stuff. 25,000 chimes on the arc will take around 12 to 16 hours to farm. The 25 Taiju 2 can easily be obtained from mini quests, castaways and treasure chests and things like that. So the Taiju 2 can be very very easy to get, but it may take you quite a while to get the chimes for this upgrade. What you do have to remember though is the Ark is very very good XP rates. So during these 12 to 16 hours that you're farming these chimes, you're going to be getting some good XP. So it doesn't really matter that it takes 12 to 16 hours to farm in my opinion, because you're going to be getting some good XP rates the whole time. So yep, that's what the Bone Crusher upgrade does, so let's move on to the setup. As for the setup, if you have the Bone Crusher upgrade where you can auto pick up, range will be king here. If you don't have the Bone Crusher upgrade, you're going to get less GP an hour because you're going to have to pick up the drops yourself. But this means you can use melee or range if you don't have the upgrade because if you're doing melee, you're going to run over to them and you'll be able to pick up the loot anyway. I would definitely advise doing this with the Bone Crusher upgrade though. As for my setup, I have some Searing Overloads, some Super Prayer Renewals, some Prayer Potions, and then I have the Dungeoneering Cape to teleport there. I have an extra Pack Yak Scroll to extend it, a Spring Gleaner, some Notepaper, Enhanced Excalibur, and some Winter Storage Scrolls. That's pretty much all you need in your inventory. In your Pack Yak, you can chuck a couple more Prayer Potions or something if you need them. For the Worn Inventory, a Vampirism Aura is helpful because it does heal you a bit. To be honest, you don't need any accuracy auras or anything like that because they're so weak anyway. Just bring an aura that's going to benefit you. For your actual armor and stuff, just take the best you have. When it comes to a weapon, you can probably get 100% accuracy with just glaives or something anyway, so it doesn't really matter that I'm wearing a Seren Godbo, it's just because I have no other ranged weapon. Glaives or a Nox Bow would work just as well here because they're so weak. For your armor, you can always take something like Armadil, Pernix, Anima Core, anything like that will work perfectly. I also take the Luck of the Dwarves for the extra rolls on the table, and an Illuminated Godbook just for some passive stats. And that's it for my setup. Like I said, you can downgrade anywhere where appropriate if needed, because even stuff like Glaives will be able to rip into these. Now onto the actual method. Like I said, you can use the Dungeoneering Skill Cape to teleport directly there, 
If you just right click and activate it and go on to page 2, you can see the dungeon on page 2 right at number 8. Just teleport there and go down the entrance. All you gotta do while killing these dragons is run from side to side. You can surge between them once you've cleared out one side and then clear out the other side and repeat the process. Whenever you use Snapshot, it pretty much kills it in one shot. It may have like 1000 HP left over, so you could just do one auto attack and then it's dead. Another really, really good spell is Shadow Tendrils. That has the ability of one shot in them. If it doesn't one shot them, you just need to do one attack after and they'll also die to that. So your thresholds make it so it either instantly kills them or it kills them in about two hits. This means whenever you threshold, you're going to get that bone that's worth 14,000 GP in two hits. When you put it into perspective in that way, it's very, very easy to make money from these because they have such little HP and give so much money in bones. What you're going to want to do the whole time is send them to the bank with winter storage whenever you have the summoning points in your familiar. When your familiar is out of summoning points, then you should just note all of the bones and carry on. Okay, noting the bones loses out on a bit of money, but when you're noting half of them and sending half of them to the bank, you're going to be making tons of money anyway. There's one thing you really do need to look out for though. If you AFK too hard and you don't kill the dragon in time, it's going to do a reflect orb. I made this one spawn a reflect orb and I put some damage over time on it so I could show how much damage it does reflect to you. Just look how much I get hit just from a simple snipe on that orb. I managed to hit myself so hard I signed myself within seconds. So if you're not paying attention, that's going to happen to you. So you really really need to watch out for those orbs, if you don't and you're not paying attention and slacking, you can easily kill yourself. Well that, that's, that's quick easy money, that's good. <laughs> like 10 kills in, it's great. This is best money maker. For the price check of my hour, it was 7.9 million GP. But if you look at the frost dragon bones, that's 6.5 million GP in bones alone. Obviously the visage adds 1.2 million on this, so if you don't get a visage, you're looking at 6.5 to 7 mil GP an hour. The visage takes it to nearly 8 mil. What I wanted to do is I wanted to quickly sell the bones to see if they were selling at a decent price because I know they are going down a little bit. I managed to sell them very very easy for about 60 GP under mid, which means I made nearly 6.5 mil from those bones still. So they're still very very secure in a price. Finishing this video off looking at the GP and XP rates for these frost dragons. My GP for the hour with a visage was 7.9 million GP as you just saw. You'll have to take around 700k GP an hour away in supplies which covers the note paper, the divine charges and the window storage scrolls etc. So the pure profit after cost deducted would be about 6 mil GP without a visage and 7 mil plus with the visage. This is some really really good GP rates. So even if you have worse gear than this, you're going to get 5 mil GP an hour pretty damn easily. Frost Dragons being between 5 mil to 7 mil GP an hour is really really good right Right now. Then not to mention with the combat experience an hour I got 510,000 range experience and 160,000 constitution XP. So even the combat experience an hour is pretty damn decent if you're doing these for XP and money. All in all a really really good method to take advantage of right now. Those bones are really really worthwhile. Anyway that's it for this video. Do give it a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new for loads of future content all related to RuneScape 3 and until next time. See ya.